it's already hot. Um, this week a little bit uh, different. Uh, first of all, I did a lot of work this week, but didn't film most of it. Um, because I did all the usual woodworking. Uh, I did um, two areas, one space here and this space. This space here I finished with uh, for Mike on the inside. Got a uh, backboard that still has to come out because they still have to do some wiring behind it. Pull some wires down. Uh, there also will be a computer fan inside because uh, to enhance the airflow behind the fridge. So that's what I did. And it was this area, and that's a little bit more intriguing. I finished this off, but left a little space here, and that's for this block of wood to finish it up. Um, still covered with plastic cover, so but that still has to be removed. What I do is I have my shower in a drawer. This is my shower box that I can take out. And with a shower, uh, I need a shower head. So what I planned is to put a slider here inside that I can pull out and with that box of course in front of it um, with a to have a shower head here and a shower pan at the bottom with a curtain around it, the shower curtain uh, and then whenever I'm finished to pull that back in and have it out of sight the shower and the water lying down still has to be done, um, but that's uh, in the planning. So that's the second thing that I did. That took me quite a bit of time and still not entirely finished, but uh, I still have to do a lot of other formica too here. The third thing is uh, also more a way of planning because I haven't really done much about it, and that is... I need a, don't need, well, yeah, I do need, don't need a TV, but I need a monitor for my computer. Uh, I plan, I might have a, a separate laptop, but Joey, hey, okay, uh, I might have a separate laptop, but uh, my primary use for a computer would be a desktop but then a built-in desktop a very tiny mini PC that's either built in here or at the very bottom uh, but I need a monitor uh, that I might use as a TV as well uh, now I bought a TV mount but one that has two uh, slide-ins, two connections to the wall so what I can do is the very first thing for when I'm in my bed so I would be able to watch television from my bed and, and it's the area to store my TV when I'm driving so I would place one mount here and I would be able to slide in my TV I have to be careful <laughs> um, and let me open that up too. And then I would be able, probably about uh, a 21 inch maximum diagonal, about 19 inches wide or so. The second location for the TV mount would be here. Um, that same 19 to 21 inch screen doesn't fit here but this is just a temporary location. I'm gonna drive, I would remove it and place it back into that mount on the closet's wall. And when the TV is mounted here I can sit in my passenger seat which is turned around permanently with my keyboard uh, on my lap and watch the monitor. 
get it closer or further away. At the same time, if I'm not using it for the computer, but as a TV, for instance, or playback of uh, videos, I would be able to turn it outside. So when I sit outside on a bench or my chair or whatever, I have the ability to use a TV outside as well. From the two inserts, one is always occupied uh, with the uh, TV, mostly the other one, and this might be uh, empty. So what I did is I uh, made a simple insert from wood. Uh, has no purpose, the only purpose to, is to make it look a little bit more in line with the interior. Um, and you can see uh, how I made it. So I'm gonna make an insert for my TV mount. Made some drawings, of course, and got a piece of wood, at least to start with, uh, that I'm gonna plane and join them the whole shebang. Now I'm going to slice it uh, lengthwise. Oh, okay, uh, I still have some spray adhesive and I'm going to glue this Thunderbolt that I'm going to saw out uh, on this piece of uh, mahogany I have. tape these two pieces together, a piece of maple and my thunderbolt. Then I'm going to use my scroll saw to saw this thunderbolt out. I go through both the mahogany as well as the maple. I've got a bottom piece and the top piece. I think it's a little bit too deep, but that's that's fine too because I have to send that. So the first thing that I'll have to do is some glue. Now then, finally got two pieces, one that fits in the bottom part of it, and one that's rounded here at the top, that fits at the bottom, you can see, and I have to glue that together to make it one piece, so that's next. Sending this insert 
and it's just a planking so it doesn't do anything but it just makes it look a little bit uh, bit nicer so so what I do is I have a little bit of thin polyurethane and I'm just gonna give it a few coats okay that's the result it's uh, got several coats of uh, polyurethane it's real glossy and just fits in there hey Joey you're a good guy huh? you're a good guy so yeah that's all that I did this week Next week I hope to have an update about the Bobesto uh, heater. See you then. Yeah? Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm gonna bite I'm gonna bite Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Done a good job. <laughs>